quickly code your photos. This is Lightroom for completely beginners, a series of classes where you learn how to professionally edit your photos in Lightroom 2024 to start making money with portraits or charge more for your services. If you're new here, I'm Sylvia, a specialist in the magazine style of maternity photography. My goal is to help you improve your retouching skills for you to make more money with photos. Now let's get into the video. Continuing our workflow, after I have imported all the photos to my Lightroom, I like to do this process of cooling your photos to create the proof gallery for my clients. Like this, they can select the photos that they would like um, to choose that it's their favorite one and also purchase more photo. It is an amazing way for you to make more money with the same client. Now, if you're a photographer that you don't let your clients choose their photos, or if you don't have the option for them to purchase extra photos, I highly, highly, highly recommend you start doing that so you can make more money. But now, what is this process of culling your photo? Is the moment where you're going to make a selection of photos that you believe that it's good to send to your clients. This is a process for you to create the proof gallery. And the proof gallery is a gallery where your clients will see all the photos from the photo shoot and they are going to be the ones to select their favorite ones and again purchase more photos so you can make more money when you're going to this calling process um, you're not analyzing every photo in small details think about the editing how you're going to retouch your photos it's more about an overall look of what you have the photos that you have and what i want you to think of is like the photos that you're keeping and the photos that you're rejecting so don't think about again the editings that you're going to be doing the photos like colors lighting Otherwise, you might take a long time, spend a long time doing this process and this is something for you to do it fast so it doesn't take a lot of your time because you as a business owner, as a professional photographer, you have many other things that you need to do for your business to work. So you don't want to spend a lot of time here. Also, don't think about the stars that you want to give for the photos or the labels that you want to give for the photos. Again, this is supposed to be a fast process process where you go through all the photos so you can send the, the, the proof gallery to your client because your client at the end is going to be the one actually selecting the photos that they want to keep. So it doesn't matter if you like a photo here and it's your favorite or not because if the client's the one selecting the photos, they are going to tell you the ones that they want to purchase and many times won't be the same photos that you like. So I don't want you to waste your time of doing something that it doesn't matter for you either way. So what do you want to think here? It's pretty much thinking about removing the bad photos. So for example, if your client blinked in the photo or the strobe didn't work, or your client was talking, or she will, she has a weird face, or the crop of the photo was totally wrong. So this is something that you want to think about in this process. Another thing that I want you to think about is removing repetitive photos. For example, if you have a sequence of photos where your client was just on the same pose, and nothing actually changed, they are very similar to each other, you can pick just one of the sequence and delete all the other ones. You can choose the one that you think that's best. Sometimes it was like something small that she changed, she turned her head a little bit more and now it's better. So you can leave that one and actually remove and reject all the other photos. But you need to understand that sometimes you will also want to keep the sequence of photos. So for example, uh, you ask your client to make a movement like moving the hair. I think I have it here. Let me see. So moving the hair. So I have like some options here. It's a sequence of photo where my client here is just messing around with the hair. Maybe you want to keep this sequence because it looks pretty cool. The idea of the movement looks pretty cool and your client might want the whole sequence. So this is something cool to keep as well. So just to recap, I want you to think about rejecting bad photos and the ones that are too repetitive. So the way that I like to do this selection is working with flags and Lightroom have two different flags for you. 
it has the pick flag and the rejected flag. The way that I do it is instead of using the pick flag saying that I want to keep the photo, I just have my photos with no flags and the ones that I want to reject it, I actually add the rejected flag. When I'm done with adding the rejected flag in my photos, I can just go to the filter and actually choose the option for Lightroom only show me the rejected photos. So the photos that has the, the rejected flag. And with that, I can select all at once and just remove it from my Lightroom or even delete it from my computer. And one more thing that I like to do in this cooling process as well, besides selecting the photos, I like to tweak the lighting a little bit for my clients because my photos, they are dark. When I take from the camera, I like to have dark photos. And when I go to see on my computer, I can make the lighting correction so the photo is a little bit lighter for my client. And this is just a little bit better for them to see the photo. So here's the before and here's the after. Something very fast and small. And when I send my client the proof gallery, they have a photo that they can actually see. It doesn't have a lot of editing. It's like pretty basic editing, just lighting correction. And then they can see the photos better. So let me just show you how to do this calling process. First, I like to work on the library tab because it's a little bit faster than the develop tab. So this is tip. So this is a tip for you. I like to see the photos in the this size is good for me. And what I'm looking for, I have done already this this process with the photos here. So we are not going to see photos where she's blinking or anything. But what I'd like to do is just kind of like um, delete all the photos that they are blurred or she's blinking, the focus is not correct. So I just go through the photos and when I see something that it's not good, I click the X on my keyboard and it's gonna set the rejected flag in my photo. So I like to keep going and just click the X again and just keep going. So my fingers, so what I do is just working on the keyboard right now and just keep going with the arrow in the keyboard and X, arrow and X. So this is pretty much what I do. And it's something that's very fast. If you wanna see if the photo has the right focus as well, you can always zoom in and see on, on the eye if it's in focus, if it's not blurry. So you can just make sure, double check that this is good because you don't wanna send to a client a photo that's not good. And after you did all the rejected photos, so let's say that I have two photos here that I set the rejected flag. I can go to my filter here, and here you have the option of um, pick photos, no flags, and rejected photos. So I'm gonna click in the rejected photo. And here, as a thumbnail, I can see all the photos that were rejected. So I can just select all the photos, or press Command I, we will select all the photos. And then you can click delete on your keyboard and you can choose the option to remove the photos from your Lightroom or even deleting from your computer. I like to delete from my computer because it's not something that I'm gonna be using later, but you can just remove from Lightroom if you feel more comfortable with that. The good thing about deleting from your, from your computer is that it's gonna free more space for you. After I have deleted all my photos, I'm not gonna delete this ones because um, this is a pic photo. So let me just remove the flags and go back to see everything. After I have deleted all the photos that are not good or are too repetitive, I go to develop tab and I like to tweak a little bit of the light so my clients can see a little bit better the photo. So here's the before and here's the after. And this is everything that I do. Then I select all photos together and then I export the photos. So I go to file export and I already have a preset for proof gallery exporting photos. So I just have some settings here. What I like to do is to have like small images with not a lot of quality. So I resize the photo for the longer edge to be 1080, the resolution 150. Another thing is here, I reduce a little bit of the quality to 80, and this is pretty much what I do um, to create the proof gallery. I want photos to be not with a lot of quality, 
because the idea is for them to just choose the photos that they want. And now you have the proof gallery in your computer and you can easily send to your clients. So you can try online galleries or you can even do like Google Drive and just share the folder with your clients and they can select the photos that they like. Now you know how to easily call photos for your client's proof gallery. Click the like button if this video was helpful for you. Stay tuned for the next lessons of this course because by the end of it, you will have photos that stand out more and that is good if you're trying to attract more clients and make more money. Also, subscribe to my channel if you're not yet. New videos come out every week. For now, this is everything. I see you in the next time.